welcome back to Irene Tarot Cart. I'm Ran. I hope you're having a great week. I've had a pretty good week this week. I worked on this little piece this week called Led to the Beach, which I'll show you the process of as I usually do. Jay and I also had a bit of a stay away out at San Remo, just off of Phillip Island. And we stayed at a lovely resort and it had all the resort perks, which was lovely. We needed some R and R, so some relaxation was really nice. We also did a lot of exploring, so I'll share with you some of our adventures. We went and visited a beautiful, huge waterfall and had a little bit of a hike there, which was absolutely lovely. We also visited a nice cove and walked on many beaches. The weather was beautiful. We had some lovely meals while we were there. Some great eating on Phillip Island. There's great restaurants there. We also visited a sea cave on day three, had a really long drive back and really appreciated home. Once we got back, you always appreciate home so much more when you've been away for a little bit. But anyway, you'll see all that. For now, let's kick off this week's footage with this little piece. And the first layer was really simple. It was just the underpainting of the three key areas, which was the sky, the water and the sand, obviously. So day one on our trip was just a relaxation day. We just arrived, we unpacked, um, we checked out the resort, um, had some time in the pool, sauna and spa, went out for a lovely Thai dinner, then headed back to the resort and had some wine and nibblies and just relaxed basically. Be good if we saw all the way to the water. <laughs> Sauna. Yeah, we'll hop in the spa after. Then back home on the painting, I next worked on the sky. So all the clouds basically, which I'll brighten up a little bit more later on to, into the painting.
Day two on our trip, we did quite a lot. Um, we started with a buffet breakfast at the resort. Then we had a long drive out to a massive waterfall called Agnes Falls and had a little bit of a hike there. We had a pit stop lunch on our way back, which was like a two hour drive. And then we also explored a lovely cove just um, on the edge of San Remo where we were staying. And I'll get to the rest later. off it though. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the grass is long enough. That's the other set of stairs there. Then lastly on our trip, we crossed over to Phillip Island and explored there somewhat. Um, the beachfront at first we checked out, had a bit of a walk around. 
had a beautiful Greek dinner, which was so flavoursome, and I'm not even a big fan of Greek food, but this was absolutely lovely. Um, we had some more relaxation back at the resort, some wine, some nibblies, and um, on day three, we visited a sea cave um, and a beautiful beach. However, the tide was in, so we couldn't actually climb into the lower caves, but it was beautiful nonetheless. The island is a lot closer than I thought, actually. I thought the bridge is much longer. Yeah, no, I know the island's pretty big, but I thought the bridge is bigger. Off the pier? Oh my god! Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah, I was tired too. I slept well as well. You right up there? <laughs> I think you're going to wait till the tide's out, though. What? Oh, wow. Yeah, such a great little getaway we thoroughly enjoyed it and next back home I worked on the sand and some sea grasses So getting back also means cooking most nights and um, making dinner every day. Um, and one of the nights when we were back for the four of us, I made some crumb chicken drumsticks with some leek and sun dried tomato pesto sauce, which was beautiful. Um, some rice, some salad, and that went down a treat with the saw. So first we're gonna start with the chicken, just to get that done, salt and pepper on the chicken, and then flour, egg wash, which is just eggs and milk, and breadcrumbs and onto a plate. So as I've said before, wet hand, grab the chicken, dry hand, flour, wet hand, egg wash, dry hand, breadcrumbs. Just like that. 
Next we want to go on with our sauce, so we'll chop up a couple leeks and start sautéing them and then we will add some charred grilled peppers to that, about a half a jar of sun-dried tomato pesto, salt, pepper, and we're going to let that cook down for a little while. So we want to soften the leeks and in the meantime I'm going to toast a bit of rice and cook at absorption method which I've showed you before. In that I'm just going to go in with some onion powder and some vegeta salt and pepper and two and a half times the rice, lid on, low heat 12 to 15 minutes and that'll be the rice done. I've got a big pan on for the chicken so I've just turned that on, that'll heat up nicely and into the leeks we're going to go with the peppers and a little bit of their oil and then we're going to go in with some sun-dried tomato pesto and once that starts simmering we're going to turn it down add salt and pepper and just cook it out about a half a jar To our sauce we want to go with a little bit of water and I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock so that it's got some flavour and the salt and pepper. Chicken stock and then we'll just let that simmer nice and gently while we finish cooking everything else. Rice is ready for the water. Then once our oil is ready, we'll go on with the chicken drumsticks. And we're just going to shallow fry that on all sides. We'll cook that nice and slow so that it's all the way cooked through while we throw some salad together. And once your chicken is all golden and you've turned it on all four sides a couple times, it should be cooked through. But you can poke a knife right into the bone. And if it's clear juices that runs out, it's cooked. Or if you touch the knife and it's quite hot where the bone is, then obviously it's cooked too. Sauce is ready, rice is ready, so let's serve. I'll go on with the rice first. Should be nice and soft and fluffy. Then on with our lovely chicken. And finally, some of that sauce that's cooked down nicely. Dress your salad in the dressing of your choice and enjoy. They were beautiful. Just make sure they're cooked all the way through by turning them lots so that the crumbing doesn't burn. Um, and like I said in the video, you can check by inserting a knife close to the bone and feeling how hot that is. But yeah, it was a lovely meal. We thoroughly enjoyed it. And then finishing up this piece, um, lastly, I just brightened up the clouds a little bit, added a little bit more highlight to the water and highlights to the sand and the seagrasses. And that was it for this piece.
So next week I'd like to try and get back into a proper routine because this week Jazz has had off work. The past three weeks Jay had off work. Um, so my schedule's been all over the place. So I'd really like to get back into a good routine, implement some healthy habits for the new year, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Um, my Crohn's has been playing up pretty bad in the last week. Thankfully it wasn't while we were away. But um, I'm hoping that settles down and um, I'm to see my specialist soon and my doctor as per usual. So hopefully it's not too bad of a flare and it's nothing major. But um, yeah, that's about it for this week and this week's footage. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, next week, I hope to be working on a medium to large scale piece. So come and join me for that if you like. And in the meantime, have a great week and have a great weekend. And thank you for joining me. All right, bye guys.